my pet. <laughs> there you are. I missed you so much. Come here. Let me give you a kiss. Oh, it is so nice to finally kiss you without having to fight you first, you know? I've been so happy since you stopped trying to resist me. Blood? Oh, gods. That's the first thing you always ask for when I show up. <sighs> Didn't you even miss me? No. <sighs> My love, sometimes your honesty is just too much to bear. You wound me. Anyway, yes, I did bring you blood. Yes, yes, calm down. Wait just a second and I will go get it. Here it is. I know you prefer to drink from those blood bags for some weird reason, but I really think that you should get used to drinking it directly from its source. So I brought you this drunk gentleman that I found nearby. Relax. I know that you don't like to hear them scream while you feed from them. So I gagged him. Even if he wakes up, he won't make a sound. My love, for God's sake, I already told you to stop with this nonsense. This is not the first human that I have brought you, and it will not be the last. You can't feed only from blood bags. Because I said so, that's why. Now stop misbehaving and go and drink from the drunk. We've been getting along for a while now, and I really don't want to fight with you because of something like this. But I will if I have to. So, will you feed yourself already? Or do you want me to do it for you? <laughs> Good choice, little vampire. Bottoms up. Oh, you are so pretty when you feed. I can barely wait to go out with you. Have some fun and maybe share some necks in a dark back alley. It's not very classy, <laughs> but I do love myself some cheap thrills. And if you keep being good for me, this day will come very fast. I really think we've made a lot of progress these last few months. It took a while, but you stopped denying my kisses and touches. And <laughs> even though you still nag me when I bring you humans instead of blood bags, I'm pretty sure that soon you will completely accept that humans are food, not things that you should care about. Oh, honey, don't speak with your mouth full. You're spilling blood all over the floor again. <laughs> You're always so messy. But I will let it slide because, well, 
You're cute. <laughs> oh. Did you finish? Okay. Let me take that body. And I will put it with the others over there. By the way, I am sorry for not cleaning up the pile of bodies that you've had on these past few weeks. I've... I have been pretty busy lately, so I haven't had the time to get rid of all this. Don't worry, I'll clean it today. I finally finished everything that I was doing these last few weeks. What was I doing? Well, I was taking care of your new room, darling. Decorating it, buying and moving in your new furniture, and arranging your new closet. <laughs> it was like creating a little house for my own little doll. I was also in contact with my brothers and sisters. I feel like very soon you will be ready to get out of here, so I invited them to my mansion. So when that big day comes, I can introduce you to them. They're all here already, and excited to meet you. They're eagerly waiting for you. A new member of my family. Just keep being good for a few more days, and soon you'll be out of here. I promise. Hmm. Hmm. Good pet. Don't you think it's nice when we both can agree on things? When we don't scream at each other. <laughs> I bet you never knew I was such a softy. I quite like our little quarrels, but I also like it when things are nice and calm between us. I can be very loving to you, if you are loving to me. Yes, I know. I know it's hard to submit and to accept being controlled by another person. It was the same for me. When my creator turned me, I was... <laughs> I was pretty feisty as well. He spent many months torturing me and training me to be the perfect son for him. The perfect vampire. What? You want to know about me? About my story? <laughs> well, I must admit, you caught me by surprise. It's the first time that you've asked me a personal question. It makes me really happy to see you actually interested in me. Just curious. Huh. Sure, if that's what you want to call it. I think it looks like love. Uh, all right, all right. I'm going to tell you everything about it. You have to have patience. Seriously, you are lucky that you are really hot. <laughs> anyway, do you mind if I sit? Thank you. Anyway, everything started five centuries ago, back when I was still human. 
I used to live in a small village with my parents and my brothers. I was the youngest of six brothers. As I told you last time, I was the most handsome man in my village. But having a pretty face, well, it wasn't all that useful there. If you were a man, all you had to have was physical strength so that you could handle manual labor and make money. I was very physically weak, weaker than any of my brothers, my dad, all the other men in the village, and I was even weaker than some of the women too. So in conclusion, I was useless. Because of that, I was never able to help my brothers and my father with the work. So I would just help my mother around the house. My brothers used to make fun of me because I had no physical strength, and my father, he never said anything, but I could see in his eyes that he was very disappointed in what I was. And my mother, well, she would always say that I should have been her little girl that I was completely useless as a man, that I shouldn't dare to call myself a man. I didn't understand why I was so different from them, and I never felt like a part of that family at all. Because of this, I really wanted to meet a woman that I could love and form a big family with. But once more, my weakness was a problem. No woman would ever want to marry a man who couldn't do heavy work and protect her and her children. So I never married. I fell in love so many times, but I was always rejected. I saw my brothers getting married and having a life that I always wanted, one by one. And one by one, I would get mad and jealous. It was torture. But <laughs> you know what's funny? All those women who rejected me, they didn't want me as a husband, but they sure wanted me as a lover. <laughs> Even my brother's wives And you know what I did? <laughs> I slept with every single one of them without remorse. <laughs> I didn't care about my brothers, about those women, about anything at all. And I'm pretty sure that some of those children that those couples had were mine. <laughs> so in some twisted way, I guess I had that family when I was human. <laughs> I lived like this for years and years until my parents got tired of me and 
kicked me out of the house. So, I was completely alone and didn't have any money. I turned into a beggar. Some months after that, I, well, I tried to kill myself. I refused to keep living in that way, and I decided that I had suffered enough. That was when I met my creator. He took one look at my face, and he liked what he saw. He liked how beautiful I was. So he saved me. I was mad, of course. I tried to escape from him a lot of times. I would fight him, I would act like a brat, and he would fight back and punish me every time I tried to defy him. So, one day, I just got tired. I decided to give up and just do whatever the hell he wanted me to do. Things did get better after that. He would treat me nicely. <laughs> he would spoil me. He would show affection and for the first time in all my life, I felt truly loved. When he decided that I was well behaved enough, he took me to his castle. That's when I discovered that he had made others like me, his children. I met lots of vampires that were turned by him in that castle, and he said that those people were now my family. <laughs> family my ass. It was so many people. He would barely pay any attention to me. He had his favorite vampires in there, and I was shocked to find out that I was not one of them. When I talked to him about it, he said that if I wanted to be one of his favorites, I had to earn it. And I tried. I tried really hard. But the only thing that I had going for me was my looks. Nothing else. Apparently, that wasn't enough for him. Even if the whole reason that he turned me into a vampire was because of my beauty. So, I decided that if he didn't have so many children, he wouldn't have favorites, would he? <laughs> I burned that castle to the ground with all of those vampires inside. When he returned from one of his trips, he saw all of that destruction, the ashes of his so precious children. His face it was the first time that I had seen him look sad. It 
made me feel good. His misery made me feel so good. He tried to kill me as revenge, but I was able to flee and I never saw him again. Then I spent some years alone, getting to know myself, what I was, what I could do, the things that I liked. I met a lot of people and I had many lovers, women and men. But I started to feel bored and lonely. The need for a family was back to torment me. I met this nice guy in a party and I thought to myself that I would love to have a brother just like him. So that's what I did. I turned him, and I made him my brother. That's how I started my true family. I started to look for people that grabbed my attention, and I turned them. And now I have the family that I always wanted. <laughs> my beloved brothers and sisters, the same ones that are waiting to meet you. Well, some of them didn't like what I did to them, but I trained them very well and I made them obey me. I used all of the methods that my creator used on me. But I am so much better than my creator, because I don't create unnecessary competition between my siblings. I give attention to all of them, and I love all of them, and they know it very well. Our family is very peaceful very happy. Everything that I always wanted. Of course, just one thing was missing. You, my little vampire. My eternal love. Now, everything is in the right place. I finally have all I need. My beautiful family. I'm so happy to hear that. That you want to meet them. Soon you will, darling. Very soon. Something to tell me? Well, sure. Go ahead. You... You love me. Oh. Oh. Finally. After so many months, you're Finally admitting that you love me, that you're mine. Gods, that's the first time that you've asked me for a kiss. You must truly love me. Yes, yes, come here. Come into my arms. 
I love you too. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. Finally, the time has come. Stand up, my love. Let's meet our family. Right now. You're ready for this reunion. I was going to wait a few more days, but I see that you've come to your senses faster than I had predicted. Anxious? Oh, you don't need to be. They will love you. I'm sure of it. And if they don't, I'll make them. <laughs> you don't need to worry. A hug. Oh, gods, of course. If it will calm you down, I'll give you a hug. I'll give you a thousand hugs. Come here, precious. Mm. This is so nice. I love you. <clears throat> what? What was that? What did you stab me with? A piece of broken human bone. The bodies. You took it from one of those dead bodies. Those there in the corner of the cell. <laughs> you. <coughs> oh, you. I'm going to have to punish you for that. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. My love, please, stop, stop. <clears throat> Don't run away. Don't go. Don't leave me. Don't run away. Indeed. Did they really think that they could kill me like this? <laughs> As if. <laughs> I'm 500 years old. This is nothing for me. Fuck. They even let the damn piece of Bone stuck inside my back. Get this out of here. There. Finally, it's out. 
gods. I hate to admit it. But I really didn't see that one coming. Shame on me for letting that little shit blind me, I guess. But that's over now. No more Mr. Nice Vampire for them. If they think they can get away from me, they are very much mistaken. Once I get my hands on them, I'll really have to control myself not to kill them. Oh, that's how fucking pissed off I am. Oh, I'll have my siblings look for them. My darling is stronger than most vampires, but if we track them down together, I am sure that we'll find and capture. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is this smell? <laughs> blood, but it's not human blood. It's vampire blood. No, 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 no! It can't be, it can't. No, please no. My siblings, my, my siblings, no. My family. Family. My brothers. My sisters. My family. No. Where are they? Oh, I have to find them. I, I have to make them pay. They killed my family. I can... I can follow the smell. I can follow it. I can... Oh, I can feel them. They're still here. They're still here. Where are they? Where... Are they? Where? Oh, the balcony. They are there in the balcony. I can smell them up there. I'm gonna... I'm going to make them pay, I swear, on my family. There they are. There. You. You! You killed my siblings! Do you know how much time and love I spent looking for the perfect people to turn? How many centuries I spent building my perfect family? Why? Why would you kill them? Why? They were monsters? Monsters? Well, guess what, darling? You're a monster, too. Did you forget? Are you going to kill yourself, too? You're... What? Is that... Is it because you're afraid of the punishment, 
you think I will give you? Oh, no, don't. Darling, don't. Don't be afraid. I... I would try not to hurt you too much during the punishment. I promise. You just need to say that you're sorry. Say it. Come on, darling. You can say it. For me. Say that you're sorry for killing my... No. Our. Our family. Say it. Say it. You can't. You can't kill yourself. You can't leave me. You're all I have. You killed my family. And now you're killing yourself? No. You can't. Please. I don't want to be alone again. Please. Don't leave me alone. I love you. I love you. You know I do. Don't leave me alone. Please. Get down from the balcony, darling. Get get down. Hurry. The sun is rising soon. Please. No, don't. Don't do that. I can't be alone again. I can't be alone. Can't. I don't need to be alone. Go with you. I I don't want to be alone. So I should kill myself with you? Let me ask you something, darling. When you... When you said that you loved me, were you telling the truth? Or were you just trying to distract me enough to catch me off guard? Darling, I need to know. I need the answer. You don't know. You don't know if you love me? <laughs> well, I think that would be enough for me. I'm already happy that I was able to plant that seed in your mind. Yes, that's enough for me. You say you don't know what to feel, but I'm pretty sure that we both know the truth. Even if you don't love me for real, I know you at least like me in some twisted way. <laughs> you crave me. You lust after me. Even if it's not love, it's, well, it's close enough for me. 
wherever you're going, love, I'm going with you. So, if what you want is to die and spend eternity burning in the depths of hell, let's go together. Because I am never letting you out of my sight again. Let me hug you, darling. Hmm. One last embrace before death comes for us. It's all I need. <laughs> you want a kiss? Well, after destroying everything I had, you want a kiss. <laughs> I think I'll have to say no this time. That's a small punishment for what you did, sweetie. Oh, the sun. I can almost feel its warmth. It's almost touching us now. I can't wait to burn with you in my arms. Are you ready? Yes. Goodbye, little vampire. I'll see you in hell, where we will be together forever. <laughs>